Commonwealth is an extraordinary network for the 21st century. This is 54 countries from all around the world. Namaste. It is one third of the world's population with an average age of below 30. Soon delegates took their places while photographers swarmed around them. No one knew what the meeting would bring. The world is a new world. It was Cameron who said, this is not the age of superpower. It's the age of networks and friendships. But they only really come alive. They only really catch fire when leadership hits them. When you look at something big that has been achieved, and you work your way back, you usually find a leader which had set it all in motion. You want to know, is he or she competent for the particular task? Is he or she honest? And are they reliable? Almost everyone in the room is a decision maker of some sort. So they are used to power and authority in their own right and in their own role, but what they're not used to is working across such a diverse range of nationalities, skills and people. I feel a buzz, I feel an absolute buzz about this program. Bits like this matter, they bring together people from a whole range of countries, range of experiences, range of backgrounds, and they pool their ideas. The job of a leader is to comfort the troubled and trouble the comfortable. Our country was developed by people from outside. Talk to our leader, he said that, listen, we have built it together as a community. In the idea of movement, we see that as an opportunity to export the culture, the ideas, the imagination, the concepts. That's an opportunity, not just simply a threat. I think that we can do a lot by importing reverse engineering, reverse innovation through partnership. And the Commonwealth is a wonderful environment and opportunity for that. What we do with our cities around the world is of fundamental importance. It's where people are going to be, rich and poor. When one thinks of the word inner city, there was a time when that meant kind of crime-ridden. Whereas actually cities should be the height of civilization, not the depths of it. The metropolitan paradox is the surprising phenomenon that where we find the greatest struggle, we often find the greatest hope. Where forms of intolerance are most intense, the struggle against the intolerance is most productive. For me, it has been an absolute eye-opener. I mean, at every level, at the level of education, at the level of religious tolerance, at the level of community interaction, it's been absolutely fascinating. I'll hold up my hand and say, yes, I'm from a The challenge itself is how do we build bridges as leaders and this would be one place to start to connect uh, in terms of how do we collectively take responsibility. Out of that competition becomes a gazillion ideas. <laughs> the fast approaching, the tipping point with the majority. There wasn't a single presentation that didn't have some dramatic quality to it. You had heart and soul up there. Some of them were really disruptive, and if you're a disruptor, very often the incumbent doesn't see you as a threat. I often wonder if it's worth killing off the past before you build the future, or whether you should just get on with building the future. How many of you will actually do something different on Monday morning? I'm used to, broadly speaking, being in a a hierarchical situation which is task driven and what I'm observing here is actually to bring about real change that isn't necessarily the only paradigm to follow. I want to go back and see how I can deliver again some of these harsh conversations that we've had, uh, how I can bring youth and business together and really look for something that's tangible. My hunch and hope is that we will develop a generation of genuinely visionary leaders who value the public mandate that a democratic system requires. 
What we like about CSC leaders is that that's equipping people with the foundations for them to be able to lead themselves. It's about allowing them to establish a network of contacts all around the different geographies. And it's about honing their innovation skills. Nobody does, nobody in, everybody plays. Walking side by side, side by side. We rekindled and refired something that actually is incredibly important. The role of powerful, intelligent networks is greater than ever. We have a real choice about how we could try and make the world a better, more prosperous, more stable, fair world. And that is a real cause for a generation. Ladies and gentlemen, I think the adventure has just begun.